Hello art journalists, this is Natalie from NK Design. Please join me for another spread in my art journal. Today I want to show you that you don't need a lot of materials to create a nice page. I was in the news agency the other day and I came home with some magazines. I found something nice, cut it out and that is what I will be using today. As you can see my page is already gessoed and because I couldn't find my masking tape I'm using duct tape instead. I start with some collage, some leftover dictionary pages um, where I cleaned my uh, brushes um, off and some tissue paper by Seven Gypsies. I glue it on with some matte medium. I have grabbed my Dina Wakely Heavy Body Acrylic Paints to put some color on and as you can see the tubes have the fine tip applicators on there. I highly recommend them for mark making, they are so much fun and you will see something like that later on in the video. But now I just um, remove those fine applicators and uh, grab some paint using uh, an old credit card or uh, a gift card, a plastic card to scrape some paint on the pages and because you put it on so thinly it dries fairly quickly and you barely need to um, go over it with a heat gun. tone down the colors a little bit, I'm going over it with white. I want to use some of my new 6x6 stencils that I recently received. These are from the Crafters Workshop. The first one I'm using is called Mini Garden Gate TCW382 and is by designed by Jamie and the second one I'm using is called Mini Deco Doily TCW326 and is by the famous Julie Faith and Belsa. There's so much going on now on that page that I find I need to add another layer but I am more color blocking with the paint and scrape it on with my plastic card. Because I want the magazine clipping to stand out, I don't want the background to be too busy. But you can still see all the layers peeking through, which I really like. Now I'm using Dina Wakely's color with the um, fine applicator. Um, this is my favorite color in her range, it's called Night. I like to use it um, anytime I don't want to use black but need something dark. It's just a magnificent color. Um, yes, it is a little bit hard to write with it because, um, let's face it, it is a heavy body um, paint so it doesn't flow as easily but it's still possible you just have to squeeze it a little bit. Mine might also be a little bit empty because I use this color a lot.
to add some paint splatters, I um, squeeze a little bit on my paper palette and then uh, thin it with a lot of water and then use a brush to spritz it onto the page. Time to add my magazine clipping. I'm using Liquitex Matte Medium and a brush. Make sure I cover the area well to glue it down. And um, at the end I'm using uh, a baby wipe to take off any excess medium. To bring the clipping into the page, I'm scraping a little bit of the acrylic paint on top of the clipping, but just a little bit, just here and there, so that it doesn't appear as if she's floating on top of the page. I'm also using a little bit of the night blue uh, thinned down and spritz it onto the clipping. As you can see, the quote and the marks that I made with the applicator have a 3D effect. Um, it is a lot of paint, so make sure it is really well dried before you close it, otherwise the page might be sticking together. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I see you next time. Until then, happy arting!